So I found out a little bit more information as to why this Julia person is saying that she believes she's Madeline McCann, and I figured I would share that with you guys. This apparently started with something that her grandmother said. Now, we don't know what that is, but it started her on this journey, um, which has led her to believe that she is Madeline. And there are some weird things here along the way. So first off, she wanted to get a copy of her birth certificate. Um, they wouldn't give her an actual copy, but they would tell her information over the phone, which is a little sus. Julia also says that she doesn't remember much of her childhood, but one memory she claims is very vivid is that when she was very little, um, being in a hot place on holiday with her parents um, and white buildings. Now, the apartments that they were staying at at the resort were, in fact, white. She's also shared a number of physical attributes that she believes are similar to Madeline's. For example, first you have this eye defect, which is called a coloboma. It affects one in more than 10,000 births, so it is pretty rare. You can see it here, and you can see it here. There's also several other photos that I put on my Instagram page and gave a link to uh, Julia's Instagram if you guys want to check that out. She also says that the shape of her face, ears, lips, and the gap between her teeth are the same as Madeline's. Then there are some weird things about her parents. She has straight up asked her parents if they would do a DNA test, and they told her no. They just flat out refused. Then in the same regard, talking to her parents about it, her mother said that she refuses to talk about the past, to leave it there, and just to move forward with the future. And her father said, what difference would it make anyways if the DNA came back and he wasn't her biological dad? And then, of course, there's the alleged link with the German child abuser. And at this point, the McCanns have agreed or even, I think, asked to do a DNA test with Julia um, as soon as they're able to. And I was in one of Julia's lives earlier today, and I believe the DNA test should be there in the next couple days. But whether we think it's Madeline or we don't think it's Madeline, um, the parents think that there's enough there for them to want to do a DNA test. So I guess we'll find out. And of course, make sure to follow because I will keep you updated as this progresses.